What's up logical people? This is Amar back with another mind-blowing Google interview puzzle to challenge your intelligence. Three brothers, Alex, Bob and Carl, travel to visit their uncle who lives exactly 300 kilometers away from their house. They have a motorbike which can carry a maximum of two persons at a time. Assume that the bike has a constant speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Each brother can walk at a speed of 15 km per hour. So, if they all start from their house at the same time, what's the shortest possible time in which they all can reach their destination? Pause the video and think logically. Always start with a basic approach and then optimize the solution step by step. So a basic approach would look like this. Alex and Bob start on motorbike and Carl starts walking. Carl keeps walking until Alex drops Bob at the destination and comes back to pick him on the bike. Then Alex and Carl cover the remaining distance on bike. Well, this was a passive approach. Because when Bob got off the bike at the destination, he stayed there in an idle position. He was doing nothing, so he was not contributing to optimize the solution. And it's perfectly logical to say that if any person is wasting his time, then they will not achieve an optimized solution. So let's see how Bob can contribute in the optimization. Alex can drop Bob few kilometers before the destination so that he can go back to Carl comparatively earlier. And in parallel, Bob can walk few kilometers toward the destination. So this will reduce the total time taken by all of them to reach their uncle's house. Alex will pick Carl and both will cover the remaining distance on the bike. And now we have reached the critical part of the solution. Here we have a few scenarios. If Bob reaches the destination first, then he would still waste some time while waiting for other two persons. And if Alex and Carl reach first, then they both will waste some time waiting for Bob. So the only way the three brothers can avoid any wastage of time is by ensuring that they all reach the destination exactly at the same time. Only then the final time will be minimized. And this perfect timing will be decided by the location of this point where Alex drops Bob. Let's visualize the optimization in action. O is the origin and D is the destination. They all start at the same time. Bob gets off the bike at point X. And in this duration, Carl has walked till point Y. Now, Bob walks toward the destination and in parallel, Alex returns back toward Carl. As Carl is already walking, he covers some more distance and he meets Alex at point Z. In the same duration, Bob covers some distance and reaches at point K. Now, suppose T is the time taken by Alex to travel from point X to point Z on motorcycle. Let's write the time using the formula distance divided by speed of the bike. That's 60 km per hour. Also, let's denote the distance between Z and X as P. In the same time T, Carl walks from point Y to point Z. Let's denote the distance YZ as Q. And we know the walking speed is 15 km per hour. Also, in the same duration t, Bob walks from point x to point k at a speed of 15 km per hour. Now, comparing the equations of Carl and Bob, it's very easy to say that both equations are symmetrical because in the same amount of time t, with the same walking speed, they both will cover exactly the same distance. So, the distance between x and k will also be equal to q. Now, let's compare the equations of Carl and Alex. 
LHS is same in both equations, so we can compare their RHS. So, P is equal to 4 times Q. Replace the value of P with 4Q. Alex picks Carl and heads toward the destination. Let's denote the remaining distance for Bob as R. Remember, all of them are going to reach the destination exactly at the same time. So that means the time taken for Bob to walk the remaining distance R would exactly be the same as the time taken by Alex and Carl to ride a distance 4Q plus Q plus R on the bike. Time is equal to distance divided by speed. Simple calculation and we get R is equal to 5Q divided by 3. Replace the value of R here. The only missing distance is from origin to point Y. Let's denote it with S. Let's quickly calculate it. Let's go back to the start of their journey. The time Carl takes to walk a distance S is exactly equal to the time Alex and Bob take to ride a distance S plus Q plus 4Q on the bike. Time is distance divided by speed and we get the final variable S equal to 5Q by 3. Let's place this value on the main line. The total distance is given as 300 kilometers. So the addition of all these segments is equal to 300 kilometers. Simple calculation and we get the value of Q equal to 32.14 kilometers. Place the value of Q in these segments to get the actual distance of each segment. Now finally we want to know the time taken for all of them to reach their uncle's house. It's very easy to calculate now because they all started at the same time and they all reached the destination at the same time. So, if we calculate the time taken by any one person to reach the destination, that will be the same amount of time taken by all of them together. Let's calculate the time taken by Bob. And that's equal to the time he took to cover the distance from O to X on bike plus the time he took to walk the distance from X to destination D. Write the time in the form of distance by speed. We get the value of time taken as 9.28 hours. We can also show it in the form of hours and minutes, approximately equal to 9 hours and 17 minutes. You can also cross verify the time for Alex and Carl and you must get exactly the same value of time for each of them. So the shortest possible time in which they all can reach their uncle's house is 9 hours 17 minutes. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and share the video and if you are new please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated with a new logic every week. Till then give a try to these tricky riddles. Also check out difficult puzzles on my channel Logically Yours.